Today I'm going to tell you how to uh, replace the uh, water pump on a 04 Chevy uh, Express van with a 5.3 liter engine in it. Uh, first thing you want to do is take the air intake off. There will be a band clamp holding onto the throttle body and then there will be an electrical connector for the uh, mass airflow sensor and then a couple more bolts on the front here. I'll show you right here. Right there is the band clamp. Right there is the uh, mass air sensor and there will be a couple more bolts right there and then take should slide right off. Um, once you take the intake off, take off the uh, upper fan shroud. There will be three 10 millimeter bolts uh, on each side that you'll undo and then there will be a couple more up top here that you undo. Then you'll want to uh, take off the plastic C uh, clamps. Just take a little screwdriver, pop them open and take everything that's attached to the uh, fan shroud off. Then you'll kind of have to wiggle the uh, fan shroud a little bit back and forth and you'll be able to pull it up and over. Now once you pull that fan shroud out it gives you really good access to the upper and lower coolant hoses and then the uh, other two hoses down there um, that's on the side of the water pump. Um, I wanted to kind of talk about these clamps here. Um, I know a lot of people say that they're a pain to get off but if you look at the uh, hose underneath there you can see that it's molded and it's not really made to slide back so you basically just squeeze it and pull the, uh, the whole pipe off at the same time with the clamp and then the lower ones here uh, the clamps will slide all the way back and you just disconnect those um, you might have to get like a crowbar or something in order to get, get them to pop loose you may also want to uh, put a piece of cardboard on top of the alternator that way you don't drench the uh, alternator from antifreeze coming out all over the place um, the top hose uh, will be right here. Just uh, you know, squeeze the clamp, do the same thing, pull it off. Right there is the two hoses. Um, after you do that, um, if you want to take off the fan, you can, but you could, you can leave the fan on there if you want. I normally leave the fan on there until after I take it off. Um, but if you leave the fan on there, uh, then go ahead and take off the belt, and then uh, take off the uh, six uh, mounting bolts uh, that go to the block. There's three on this side and three on the other side. Uh, once you take those out, uh, you'll be able to take the whole uh, water pump assembly out. Uh, this pulley here came with it new. Uh, this pulley I had to swap from the old one. And then this is the thermostat housing right here. Uh, now whenever you uh, take that off, go ahead and make sure that your uh, mounting surfaces are clean. And then I might, uh, the new pump will probably come with gaskets. You might want to put some gasket sealer or maker on there so you can stick that gasket on so it doesn't move as you're putting it back on. But basically after you uh, do that, you just reverse process of everything. Um, another quick note on the uh, thermostat, if all you're doing is replacing the thermostat, the only thing that you gotta pull off is the uh, reservoir uh, bottle, the overflow bottle. You'll be able to reach down in the side and go down and take the uh, two 10 millimeter bolts off the, uh, the housing there. Just be patient, you'll be able to get them out and replace the thermostat. You don't have to take the belt off. Um, you will have to change uh, antifreeze though because all the antifreeze will come out. Um, but other than that, uh, you just reverse process on everything and uh, make sure everything's torqued down to the factory specs. Uh, whenever you're filling it back up, um, you got all the ho hoses uh, connected. Uh, disconnect the uh, upper hose right here. Go ahead and uh, fill that up with antifreeze. Also disconnect this hose right here. Uh, that way, whenever you fill that up with antifreeze, you keep filling it until the antifreeze comes out right here. Once it comes out right there, go ahead and reconnect that back and connect this hose and then take your cap off and fill it up right there. Now I usually uh, start it up and leave it running for a while and you'll see the level drop and then once you can't get any more fluid in there, uh, then you can go ahead and take it for a drive, uh, come back and check the level again after it's cooled down. I usually do that a couple times just to make sure all the air is out of the system. Uh, but basically that's how you change the water pump out on the uh, Chevy Express van. Um, thanks for watching my video and if you liked it go ahead and uh, subscribe and I look forward to making the next video.